Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to a brand new Spring 2020 anime, which is going to be Tower of God Episode 1. Now me, I will be going into this completely blind. I have no idea what it's going to be about, didn't read a synopsis, nothing. All I know is way back a couple months ago, I've been hearing a lot of talk about how good the manga was, and so I added the manga to my queue, but I never actually got around to it. So what better time to finally see what the series is about than right now, the premiere day of the anime. I'm excited for it, but before I get into it, I'm gonna do some quick little predictions of what I think it's gonna be about. So all I know is the name pretty much, Tower of God. And from that, I'm kind of getting some slight SAO vibes, just in the sense of how in SAO they had that tower with like 99 floors, I think, and they had to get to the top. So I'm guessing the main focus of this anime is going to be getting to the top of this Tower of God. And then maybe once you get to the top, you get like some godly powers or you get like one wish, any one wish. There has to be some sort of reward for reaching the top. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, hello, my name is Cloudy Crow, and um, every season I pretty much react to a couple of the biggest or most unique anime that stand out to me, and every day that they air, I try to get my reactions out ASAP for you guys, but whenever I'm not reacting to ongoing anime, I also have another side series of sponsored anime by you guys, which have anime like Fate Zero, Madoka Magica, the Monogatari series. So if throughout this video you guys find yourself enjoying the reactions, feel free to head on over to the channel, check out any other anime that you think you might like that I'm reacting to, and uh, feel free to click that subscribe button if you want to see more Slice of Shonen content. But anyways, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as two dollars. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so this is the part of the video where you guys will grab your source videos. If you do not have one of your own, I will have one linked in the description. All that you have to do is click the first link that you see, bring up the video, and get ready to sync it with me because we'll be starting episode one in three, two, one. All right. Crunchyroll Originals. Oh yeah, this was a webtoon, wasn't it? It wasn't an actual an um, not anime, manga. What? Ooh, I like this art style. This is really clean. Dude! What? Bro, these characters look sick! Mmm. Okay. Okay. At the top of the tower. But do we have to fight these things like on the daily? Wait, is he gone? I thought this was just an illusion or something. Is that kid actually gone? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess I wasn't too far off. Bam. Ooh. Okay. I'm sensing a banger. Mmm. Tower of God. 
All right, slowing down a bit. Mmm. They picked it right back up. Man. So far, very impressed. I like how even the like animation style still has that kind of webtoon feel to it. And, oh man, like I said earlier, the characters look unique. Especially the girl who's like, um, her eyelashes were like, I don't know, they had like this flaming pattern towards the corners. Man, this is a banger, hold up. <laughs> Man. All right. Let's get into this. Did she come here? Okay. I was just about to ask if they came here alone. Oh, snap. Why was she running from him? And he looks like he's tearing up, too. Was she about to run to her death? Oh, I guess in a sense she was. Because I'm sure the tower is pretty dangerous. Yo? Is this like some Full Metal Alchemist? What is it called? The Door of Truth? Or something like that? It's too late. She's gone. Mm. Will you join her? Or does he not have a choice? The white steel eel and the ball. Hmm. Okay. Head on. So this is the infamous BAM. Or is it BOMB? I wonder how many times he's going to say that this episode. That's like number three right there. Looks like he... Oh, and this is right where we started. Okay. Dang, this is the first test? Going up against that monstrosity?
Look, we're just fish food to that thing. Oh, the white steel eel on the ball. He's going for it to get Rachel back. Hello? Who is this? And why? Oh, snap. She's kind of bad. Hold up. Oh, we're definitely not alone. That's cool. A non-regular. He's just a newbie, cut him some slack. Dang. Dang, that's true. I knew this wasn't like a beginner test hey cut my man some slack oh never mind by all means continue <laughs> or at least that's what i'd think if i were him He's a man on a mission. The Black March. Mm. Oh, snap. Is she giving it to him? Oh! Yo, that thing looks sick! Hey, let's see if he can use it. She's waiting for you at the top. Dang, man. Yeah, even he's surprised. <laughs> hey, she didn't say no. I like her. She's cool. But now it's time to see what our boy can do with this new blade.
And this is right where it ended. Where you got swallowed whole. Dang. Ooh. Dang, she definitely felt something for him. Oh, oh, he's doing some damage in there. Look at that. And the fact that he was pretty much fearless while standing there. I didn't see an ounce of fear in his face. What is it? He couldn't break it. What? So getting past the seal or the eel was the easy part. Actually breaking the ball is the hard part. Dang. How long are we going to be there? Oh, snap. Is this her test? Or his test? Is this him? Just with long hair? Dang. He looks like he's been down there for years. He's got to get her back. He can't let this stop him. Keep chipping away. Oh, this must have been them in the past. I thought this was all just in his head for a second. Oh? Finally making... Oh, we cut his tongue! Oh, uh, I feel like it's about to go down. It just might work for him. Ooh! Dang! Oh my god! Just being in the vicinity of that thing sent it flying. What?
Dude. <laughs> this man's getting all the ladies. Dang. <laughs> she told her straight up. <laughs> Man. She's got some competition. And now it's gone. Dang. He's at the next floor already. But she said that... Hold on. Dude, I like her. I like her. That's facts. But yeah, didn't she say, like, people that made it to the 20th floor were struggling against this thing? So if you had to fight it on the first floor, I can't imagine what he's going to have to go through next. Yeah, me too. You and me both, my friend. She sounds so familiar. Like her voice actor. Actress. Actress. I gotta look it up after this. Test 2, the regulars. Oh, he's a non-regular, so now we're about to meet the regulars. Okay. Why, why is his first instinct to eat it? Sounds like a kid. Is this like a battle royale situation? Oh, snap! We got a death game going on now? And these characters, dude. Alright, you guys have fun slaughtering each other. <laughs> we have 400 people here. I want to see that population cut in half, boys. <laughs> yep, we got the blade back. And already. What the heck is he holding? It looks like a massive kunai. And he's swinging it like a sword. Dang, his foot is huge. Oh, a little too cocky there, but... Oh, oh my gosh! I mean, I guess he is a big dude, but dang. She had to make sure. Or he. Or he. Dang! Bro! Everybody's getting sniped. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I thought he was going to crush his head with his hand, dude. I was about to say it. Whew. He's not playing any games.
Bro, I love how unique these characters are, man. <laughs> it's a nice toy you got there, buddy. Ugh, he's trying to find a worthy opponent, a worthy target. Ooh, and she spotted him too. I feel like everyone that he's sensed, they're going to be important characters in the series. Like, they're not going down here. Him either. Dang. That dude got slaughtered. Dang. That dude with all the eyes is just chilling, though. He hasn't even turned towards them. Or I guess every direction is turning towards him at that point. Man, what a great first episode, dude. Talk about leaving a great first impression. Honestly, I had no idea what to expect going into this. But they definitely did not disappoint, man. Phenomenal art style. Interesting story. I mean, they didn't really go too in-depth with it. Like, all we know is that there's this tower. And if you get to the top, you can pretty much get whatever you want. But getting to the top is the hard part. So, that's pretty much all we got from the story. Um, when it comes to, like, the main objective. But with our main character, Bomb, he wants to get his i don't hmm what is she to him like a like a friend well i mean obviously he cares for her more than a friend but i don't i don't know we haven't gone too far into their past all we know is that he was trying to get out of that cave or whatever he was in he bumped into the girl and i'm guessing i'm not sure if that was where they met and she pretty much saved him, and that's why he cares so much for her. Or if they knew each other beforehand, and she saved him. But, I don't know. Are we going to get a preview? Okay. Okay. They're going to save her for the next episode. But yeah, his goal is to come to this tower. He doesn't even care about like going to the top and getting whatever wish he could possibly want all we know is that he was told by the guardian of the tower dude that anything that he desires is at the top of the tower and he wanted his friend back and so that's why he's going to the top of the tower he doesn't care about money he doesn't care about power even with that sword when he asked for it to lend him her power or lend him its power and she asked him what he wanted it for he said he just wanted it to see Rachel. He didn't care about using it to get to the top of the tower. If he was using the sword and then he met Rachel halfway up the tower, I think that'd be more than enough for him. He'd be ready to hightail it home after that. He doesn't care about what's at the top. At least right now he doesn't. And then also the characters, dude. The characters look really good. One, because of the art style, and two, because they just have like unique styles to them that all look so sick. Like. There's not one character we've seen so far that looks uninteresting. All of them have had a little something added to them to make them stand out from your typical generic anime character. So, I really like this anime, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have in store for us in episodes to come. But for now, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe. For more SciShona content, make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.